Peace, champ. What inspired you to open a boxing gym in Brownsville? Wow, great question. Thank you. And uh, thank you for the interview, champ. Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, it was, a, it was a dream, a thought that I had as a kid because uh, I started boxing in Starry City, which is in East New York. And, um, you know, being from Brownsville, it was a little trek to get over there, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, at the time, actually, it was even harder when I was living in East Flatbush. So, you know, uh, I always wondered and said to myself, you know, we got some, 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 history of boxing in Brownsville. This neighborhood is legendary, a boxing neighborhood dating back to the 30s and the 40s. Uh, and then to having, you know, being the only place in the world where you have three heavyweight champions, you know, Mike Tyson, Riddick Ball, myself, let alone really four heavyweight champions, excuse me, four heavyweight champions because you have um, the great light heavyweight champion, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. You know what I'm saying? He He's also from Brownsville. So just with the... Uh, the legacy coming from Brownsville with no gym makes it made no sense to me. So I was like, can you imagine if we had this many champions, let alone the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history, Mike Tyson from Brownsville, imagine if we had a gym here, you know what I'm saying? So it was always something I thought about and I said if I ever made it and I became a champion, I would open up a gym. From a business standpoint, I thought it'd be great as an entrepreneur. You know, if I was looking for baseball players, I go to Dominican Republic or Cuba. If I'm looking for a horse jockey, I I go to India or I go to Mexico. You know what I'm saying? If I'm looking for a football player, I go down south or I go to Samoa. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, somewhere like that. Um, and I said, damn, if I'm looking for a boxer, I, I, I would go to Brownsville because the odds and the numbers, you know what I'm saying? If you look at it from an equation, a math stand -up, on a standpoint, this is, in, the, in the world, there's no other place in the world with, um, with this size, 1.3 miles, that you could find a Mike Tyson. Riddick Bowles, Shannon Briggs, Eddie Mustafa, Zab Judah, Danny Jacobs, Curtis Stevens, you know what I'm saying? Um, and our new rising star, Bruce Carrington. So it's just, uh, it was just something from an entrepreneurial standpoint. Um, and if, again, from a lifelong dream that I planned on and I wanted to do. So I came back to open up the Brownsville Boxing Academy.